Karlo Vivari is often considered the best day trip from Prague. Yet, a day trip could never do this outstanding destination justice. In this video, we're showing you all the incredible things to do in Karlo Vivari and the West Bohemian Spa Triangle and why you should spend as many days there as possible. Close to the border with Germany, the so-called West Bohemian Spa Triangle comprises three of the best spa towns in the Czech Republic. Karlo Vivari, Marianske Lacne and Frediskovi Lacne. Known for their therapeutic mineral springs, the three towns have been attracting people from all walks of life for centuries. Some of the most famous among them were Goethe, Chopin, Mark Twain and Edward VII, the King of England. The three quaint towns are now part of the great spa towns of Europe, a transnational UNESCO site that includes 11 spa towns in seven European countries. A trip to the West Bohemian Spa Triangle is ideal for anyone looking to combine a spa vacation with gorgeous architecture, wonderful scenery and culinary delights. If you're visiting the spa towns for medical treatments, the experts advise you to stay there for a minimum of two weeks. However, if you're there for the pampering and sightseeing alone, five days is a good start. The most visited spa town in the Czech Republic, Karlo Vivari is also the largest spa complex in Europe. The town was named after its founder, Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor and the King of Bohemia. Karlo Vivari means Charles's baths in Czech. Karlo Vivari is home to several hot springs. Drinking the mineral water from these springs helps cure various ailments. The iconic spa cup helps you sip the hot mineral water without burning your tongue, thanks to its special design. The most impressive buildings in Karlo Vivari are the town's colonnades. Apart from being the ideal places for tranquil, late-night strolls, these colonnades also house the mineral springs of Karlo Vivari and are open to the public 24-7, except for one, the Castle Colonnade, which is now incorporated into a spa hotel. The Mill Colonnade is the largest of all, housing five water springs. The Market Colonnade is a lovely wooden construction that houses three more mineral springs. The Park Colonnade is a stunning cast iron structure, home to two more hot springs and next to a peaceful park with cocktail and food trucks. Although blunt and austere, the hot spring colonnade hides the most impressive of all Carlo Vivari attractions, the Bridlo Spring. This is in essence a geyser, whose water rises to a height of up to 12 meters and has a temperature of over 70 degrees Celsius. To know which spring to drink water from for each medical condition, you have to consult an expert. Milada Sarova, founder and owner of President Hotel, has decades of experience treating celebrities and common people alike. Together with her team, they create tailor-made spa treatment plans for their guests. This is spring number one geyser, 73 degrees Celsius, 2000 liters. And the smallest quantity is number 10, the Skalni Pramen. My Liebling is number 11, Svoboda. Liberty, which I like that you drink today evening before dinner, and uh, 12 is for men. Waterska papilla to liver. And liver, liver, you see, is small channels, channels, channels. And we push three times daily the hot water. And hot water mechanically clean. It means if you have fat liver, the people have a lot of cholesterol and they have bigger fat liver. In Karlovy, very this fat is going with this hot water out. Besides drinking, the mineral water from the springs is also used for spa treatments at the town's spa hotels, like the iconic Thermal Hotel. Part of its magnificent outdoor pool is filled with hot mineral water straight from the springs. 
soaking in the warm waters and taking in the views of this enchanting setting is one of the best things to do in Carlo Vivari. Carlo Vivari isn't only about its spas, though. There's also some sightseeing involved. Remember when we said that the Vridlo Spring is the most impressive attraction in Carlo Vivari? Well, the Vridlo Underground is equally impressive. Getting into the depths of the earth, right where it all begins, is a unique experience. It's there that you will learn about the petrified roses of Carlo Vivari, probably the most famous souvenir in the town. These roses are made of paper, but after two weeks soaking in the mineral waters in the Vridlo underground, they turn to stone. Becherovka is one of Carlo Vivari's best-known local products. This herbal liquor started its life as a medicine, but it's now enjoyed as a digestive drink or serves as the main ingredient for inspired cocktails you can only try in Carlo Vivari. It boasts a secret recipe that only two people in the world know. A guided tour of the Jan Becher Museum is one of the best things to do in Carlo Vivari for a glance into the history of this emblematic drink and a tasting of the several types of Becherovka. A short funicular ride from the heart of the town will take you to the Diana Lookout Tower, where you can enjoy panoramic views of Carlo Vivari and the surrounding forests. The rustic restaurant next to the observation tower is the perfect lunch spot. If you're visiting Carlo Vivari in early July, you'll get to feel the vibe of the International Film Festival that takes place there every year. Apart from screenings of more films than you'll have time to watch, you might even steal glimpses of your favorite stars. If not, visit Carlo Vivari any other time of the year and stay at the celebrated Grand Hotel Poop. Housed in a splendid historic building, this superb spa hotel is where most Hollywood stars stay during the film festival. The second largest town in the West Bohemian Spa Triangle, Mariansky Latsnia has a more intimate feel than Carlo Vivari. Surrounded by lush green parks and forests, the town is dominated by elegant buildings that house top-quality spa hotels. The most striking among them is Nova Latsne, a historic five-star hotel where many notable people have stayed throughout the centuries. Edward VII, the King of England, was so fond of Mariansky Latsne that he had his own spa cabin inside Nova Latsne Hotel which you can use today and feel like royalty. Another highlight of the Nove Latsne Hotel is the beautiful Roman baths area. At Nove Latsne, we tried a mineral bath for the first time and had a chat with Marketa Havorkova, one of the hotel's head physicians. All spa need uh, to have some uh, natural resources. We have three natural resources. It's mineral springs, gas and peat. Okay. Mineral springs we have for, uh, we can use for drinking cure, for inhalation and baths. Mm -hmm. You wear in okay. bath. Then we have a special Maria gas. It's a natural gas here from Marianske Lasnie. There is uh, a lot of CO2 too. And we can use it for wraps and injections mm -hmm. and peat, peat for a local wraps, mm -hmm. yes. Now uh, we would like to have a status of Klima, Klima Spa, mm -hmm. because of our air here is very clean. In Marianske Latsne, you can also enjoy peaceful strolls, stop for a glass of wine at one of the cafes that line the fabulous colonnade or walk to the forest spring for a taste of the town's mineral water. Whatever you do, make sure you don't miss the renowned Marianske Latsne Spa Wafers, a dessert that's intertwined with the town's spa heritage. Yet, the ultimate highlight of Marianske Latsne is the magnificent singing fountain that puts on a spectacular show for your stunned eyes and ears only. Goethe's Heaven on Earth 
Frantiskovi Latsne is the smallest of the three towns of the West Bohemia Spa Triangle. It's named after Emperor Franz Joseph I. The town's mineral water is considered beneficial in cases of infertility. Hence the town's symbol, the statue of a small boy named Frantisek. Touching the small boy is supposed to help women have children, but it's probably the healing properties of the mineral water that does the trick instead. One of the best places to spend a day in Frantiskovi Latsne is Aqua Forum, a large water park and wellness center. The adjacent Paulik Hotel is not only the finest accommodation and dining option in Frantiskovi Latsne, but also a cultural center of sorts, as the hotel team organizes various events for locals and visitors alike. Apart from the three towns of the West Bohemian Spa Triangle, the area is dotted with several other cultural and natural treasures you shouldn't miss. A mere 20-minute drive from Karlovy Vary, Lokit Castle is an impressive construction in Gothic style, perched atop a rock overlooking the quaint town that goes by the same name. Once you step inside the castle, you will feel as though you are a time traveler of sorts, while the many exhibits will fascinate you. Bohemia has a long-standing glass-making tradition. When in the West Bohemian Spa Triangle, it's worth visiting Moser Glassworks, a luxury glass manufacturer based in Carlo Vivari. A guided tour of Moser Glassworks allows you to see how these handmade masterpieces are created through fire and craftsmanship. On the same tour, you will visit the Moser Museum for a look into the sparkling world of Bohemian crystal. If you feel like a short hike, the Wolf Pits is a natural landscape that will amaze you. What remained after the collapse of the Wolfgang Mine, the Wolf Pits is a complex of dramatic rocks that go so deep that the sun can't reach their base. Proof of that is the fact that there is snow in there, even in the summer. Speaking of mines, the mountains between southeastern Germany and northwestern Czechia have always been rich in metals. Therefore, this was a mining area since the Middle Ages. Nowadays, the so-called Ore Mountains are a UNESCO-listed site. Some of these mines offer guided tours and each mine has a different level of difficulty. We visited one of the most demanding but also utterly exciting ones, the Johannes Mine. During the guided tour into the depths of the mine, we learned everything there is to know about the miner's life and how mining evolved throughout the centuries. After the adrenaline-filled experience of the Johannes Mine, there's nothing better than a glass of ice-cold beer. The Czech Republic has the largest per capita beer consumption in the world, and visiting a microbrewery is the best way to appreciate the country's national drink. At the Cherveny Vuk, you can enjoy a beer tasting and, if you're lucky enough, a tour around the premises by the brewmaster himself. Uh, here in, uh, in Bojidar, the uh, the groundwater com coming to our pipes is pretty much so very soft. It's not even soft, it's very soft because it's coming mostly from uh, precipitation. So it's either uh, snow, which is big, big part, or uh, rain, and it brings no minerals. And uh, underground here is very hard rock, so there's not too much minerals. Uh, it can seep into, into the water. Although I have to admit there is half of the periodical system uh, elements presented in very uh, traces. Visiting Carlo Vivari on a day trip from Prague would be missing out on all those amazing things you can see and do in the West Bohemian Spa Triangle. After all, a hurried visit to Carlo Vivari in the Spa Triangle is the exact opposite of what this destination represents, which is absolute relaxation and sweet, slow living.